Okay, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make a rectangle, a rectangular prism, a perfect square, and a perfect cube. The first thing we're going to do is go up to your select tool, select tools, which is the arrow up here, and let's select their little man here and we're going to get rid of him, so just hit the delete key. Then we're going to go up and you'll see in the toolbar there's the shape of the rectangle. So you're going to select that, come down to your origin, and let's just go ahead and draw a rectangle. Okay. Now this rectangle, when I go to my orbit tool, which is down here, you can see is in a single plane. So if we go under it, whatever, it, it's in a single plane. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go back to my rectangle tool, and we're going to draw another rectangle. But this time, we're going to make it three-dimensional. And we're going to do that by going to this tool here, which is the push-pull tool. Okay. So you're going to click on that tool, come back to this surface, and you'll notice that when I go over the top of this one, it turns, it has like little dots on it, which means I've selected it. So then you're going to take that, it doesn't matter how far, just push it up, and you can see that you have now made a three-dimensional object. You take our orbit tool, kind of go underneath it to the side, and you can see that it has more than the single plane, as we did in our first rectangle. Okay, let's take the hand tool, and with this one, the hand tools in your toolbar here, we're just going to kind of move our whole screen over to make room for our square. I'm going to orbit just around just a little bit, grab my rectangle tool again, and come down here to make a square. Now when I do the square, I want it to be a perfect square this time. When I see that diagonal dotted line that goes across the center, I know that it's a perfect square. So at that point, Make sure I have that, I can let go, and I know that's a perfect square. So there's another way to do it. Let's say I know that I want a cube that is exactly two feet by two feet by two feet. I come over, I start and I draw my square, and I just let go. And you'll notice down here in the right hand corner, it's got dimensions. Well, this little tiny, um, like a comma in the air, let's call it, um, stands for feet. So I'm going to type in two feet and then a comma by two feet and then I hit enter. And now I know that's exactly two feet by two feet. I go back to my push-pull tool. I go to this one. I pull up. It doesn't matter how far, but I'm going to put back in two feet and enter. And now I know that is a perfect cube, which is two by two by two. Okay, so we can go underneath it to the sides to the top, however we rotate it. We've got a perfect cube, we have a square, a rectangular prism, and a rectangle. Okay, what I want you guys to do now is um, finish this tutorial and open up SketchUp and I want you to draw all four of those shapes yourself.